Hey, this is Brian with WorshipTutorials.com. This is a tutorial for the song Forever, uh, and sometimes it has the title We Sing Hallelujah in it. And uh, this song is sort of a, a really popular song right now. It came out, um, I want to say it came out maybe a year ago, and uh, I believe Carrie Job had it on uh, an album of hers. It was written by Carrie Job. Uh, Brian and Jen Houston from, uh, sorry, not Houston. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting all these churches mixed up. So Bethel Church, not Hillsong Church. Uh, it was written Brian and Jen Johnson from Bethel Church. And uh, kind of a funny side note, the Brian Johnson is one of the worship leaders at Bethel and they're one of their songwriters. But the great rock band ACDC also has a lead singer named Brian Johnson. It's kind of funny to me. Anyway. Moving on from ACDC. This is a, a song by Bethel Church and Carrie Job, and I think there's some other writers in there as well. But it's a really awesome song. There are lots of versions of it out there. I am going to teach it to you in the key of A, which is maybe an odd choice because this is the, if you have the Bethel Tides album, I love the version on that album. Um, and Brian Johnson leads it, and it's really low. He has a lower voice, which I appreciate because uh, a lot of these guys sing really high. And uh, I feel like the songs he leads are maybe a little more accessible to uh, maybe if you have a lower voice or if you, for your congregation, it's uh, easier to sing. It's almost too low for me, I'll say. Um, it's hard to project when you're singing that low. It's actually not too low, but it's hard in a live environment with a band to get over the band with your vocal uh, that low. But anyway, I'm going to teach it to you in the key of A, and it's real easy to play. There are five chords, I believe. You play A, and I actually kind of play it like uh, like this. I call it an A2. But you can play it like this. And then there's an E. There's an F sharp minor, which I play one of two ways. Uh, you can do it this way. You can also play it like that A2 again, but wrap your thumb around and play this F sharp minor, or F sharp. I actually really like that version of it. There's a D, and there's a B minor that shows up a couple times, and I've tried all the variations of B minor that I know, <laughs> uh, and I like the way this one sounds the best. It's not the easiest version of this chord to play, but it sounds the best in this song. Okay, so those are the chords A, E, D, F sharp minor, B minor. So let's talk about the strumming pattern of this song. Now, this one, you, you've got to be very dynamic. You've got to build it and then come and then get mellow with it. So you can just play real open, down strums. But when you get into the song, it's really easy. The strumming pattern you want goes like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Up, so down. Down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, down, down, up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you can put your capo on the second fret and use key of G shaped chords, but I don't like to do that because you might notice that the uh, kind of the, it's a slide guitar line, but sort of the, the hook of the song goes like this. And you can kind of play this. So, um, so I'm going to show you the intro and then I'll show you how I do that little thing. Uh, and I have an acoustic version of this song that I do that in. So the intro is just A to E to F sharp minor to D. Now in some versions of the song it goes A, E, B minor to D. I prefer the F sharp minor there in the intro. Um, but it kind of depends on which version of the song you want to do. Um, so anyway, to do that little, uh, that thing, um, you do, if you play your A, 
like uh, like this A2, and you st you sneak your uh, index finger on the E A D G string, first fret, and you play the first fret, and then the second fret. And then to play the next note, you can slide up, or you can, the easier way to do it is this, is to play the, uh, the B string, second fret, kind of as you would if you were playing an A major. So when you put it all together, it sounds like this. And then play the E. Now if you play your F sharp minor, like this, you can do the same exact thing, but just hook your thumb around. And that was a little sloppy. Um, but that's how you play it. You don't have to do that. You can just play A to E to F sharp minor to D. And again, you can play F sharp minor this way. But that's the intro and that is the verse. So I'm gonna play the intro and the first verse and it goes like this, starting with A. And again, you don't have to play that, you can just play like A to E. And again, you can play either version of F sharp to D. Here we go, verse one, the moon. The moon and stars, they wept. The morning sun was dead. The savior of the world was fallen. His body on the cross, his blood poured out for us. The weight of every curse upon it. And I believe in the verses, those E's are technically E over G sharp. Um, if you are playing acoustic, you don't need to play that G sharp, which would be up here, which is difficult to play. You gotta wrap your pinky. Um, if you're in a band situation, let your bass player handle that G-sharp. And if you are playing just acoustic, you can just play E and it will sound fine. But I uh, just wanted to make that note. Those are E over G-sharp. But uh, you can essentially on acoustic go A, E, F-sharp minor, D. So you play that verse and then you get to a turnaround section. And the turnaround is almost like the verse intro. It goes A. Or you can do this thing again. And then it plays B minor here. I'm thinking in every version that I know, it goes to B minor there. And then you go back into the verse again. One final breath he gave as heaven looked away. The Son of God was laid in darkness. A battle in the grave, the war on death. Power of hell forever broken. Now we get to our pre chorus. The ground began to shake. Okay, so the ground, the pre chorus goes A. The ground began to shake. E. The stone was rolled away. F sharp minor. You can down strums here to build it. This perfect love is D. Will not be overcome. To A. And this is technically A over C sharp. Uh, C sharp is here. So again, it's kind of harder to play it if you uh, go with your pinky. You can do, a lot of people will play it like this. If you're with a band, again, let your bass player handle that uh, C sharp because that is in the bass. Um, and if you're playing acoustic, you can just play an A there if you'd like. But it is technically A over C sharp. A over C sharp, death, where is your sting? E, our resurrected king, F sharp minor, has rendered you defeated, D. What great lyrics in this song. Holy cow, they're good. Okay, 
Uh, so I'm going to sing The Power of Hell Forever Broken. I'm going to play that pre-chorus for you. The song starts building here in energy big time, and the vocal also lifts, so it gets higher. I'll play it for you. The power of hell forever broken. Here we go. The ground began to shake. The stone was rolled away. His perfect love would not be overcome. Now death, where is your sting? Our resurrected King has rendered you defeated forever. He. Now we're into the chorus, which goes like this: Forever, a he is glorified. Forever, F sharp minor, he is lifted, D, high. Forever, A, he is risen, E, he is alive. F sharp minor, he is alive, D. So I'm going to sing it. Now, uh, it's in the morning, and we had a rehearsal last night uh, that uh, I sang a lot. So my voice is really tired, so I'm going to give it my best shot. We'll see how this goes. Um, now, death, where is your sting? I'll start there. Coming out of the pre-chorus. Now, death, where is your sting? Our resurrected king has rendered you here you have kind of a choice to make what you do with your arrangement. Um, I like to go back into the pre-chorus here. The ground began to shake, which is I think what the Bethel version on Tides does. I've kind of done this song enough different ways that I can't quite remember which version does what, but I believe the Tides album uh, goes back into a pre-chorus here. The ground began to shake, the songs rolled away, and then back into a uh, a chorus or maybe two choruses and then uh, there may or may not be a solo in the version that you do and the solo would go just like this you'll notice this song is not difficult it's A to E to F sharp minor to D same progression we've been doing the whole time and then uh, there's a bridge. We sing hallelujah. So the bridge goes like this. A. We sing hallelujah. E. We sing hallelujah. F sharp minor. We sing hallelujah to D. The lamb is overcome to A. We sing hallelujah to E. And you do that, and I believe you sing the line four times, we sing alleluia, we sing alleluia, we sing alleluia, the lamb is overcome. It's A, E, F sharp minor, D. Now the last time through, it's a little different. So the last time you sing the bridge, it's A, we sing hallelujah, E, we sing hallelujah, B minor, we sing hallelujah, and it's uh, no lamb is overcome last time through. Um, so I'm going to play, I'll do like a solo section. Say you're going to do a solo section out of the chorus, and then I'll play the bridge. So the solo would go A to E to F sharp minor to D. And here's the bridge. We sing. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Yeah. 
sing hallelujah, we sing hallelujah. I like to come into a drop out of this. Just A, E, F sharp minor, D. And then there's a tag, kind of an ending, uh, that goes like this, A. Now death, where is your sting? It's A, E, F sharp minor. I resurrected you. Same progression. Has overcome. He's overcome. Overcome. And then you can do that maybe one more time, maybe two more times, but it's the progression remains the same. A, E, F sharp minor, D. So that is the song forever. Like I said, a lot of different versions out there. Depending on which version you listen to, they may play a B minor for that F sharp minor in certain sections of the song. Typically the verse uh, and choruses are the same. Uh, the B minor does show up in the last time through the bridge on We Sing Hallelujah. And so the other areas where you might see that B minor are in like intros and turnarounds and that kind of thing. So just pay attention to the version that you're playing and see what they do on that song. So thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. Great worship song from Carrie Job, people at Bethel Church. Uh, I really love singing, leading this song. Hope this has been helpful. See you next time. Bye.